Finally, the gatekeepers recognize him. He is the king, the king of kings. He has defeated the greatest of all en enemies, the one that they call death. This is the victorious entry of the warrior king into the kingdom of heaven. None were permitted, permitted to enter before him, but many will now enter after him. Be remiss if we didn't mention Revelation chapter 21 here. Look with me really quick. It's going to be a, a two-slide passage. The Apostle John speaking, he says this, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne. Look, God's dwelling is with humanity, and he will live with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will be no more because the previous things have passed away. Then the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. He also said, Write, because the words are faithful and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will freely give to the thirsty from the spring of the water of life. The one who conquers will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. This is the triumphant entry of Christ into his heavenly kingdom. And all those who are in Christ will be with him.